Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation stands out as an exceptional platform for options trading. With its robust features encompassing the options chain, risk profiles, and analysis tools, TWS empowers you to trade options with both knowledge and efficiency. To kick off our journey into the world of TWS options, let's jump into the process of setting up our layout. Okay, so here we have a blank layout in Trader Workstation. Now, depending on what kind of options trader you are, there are a lot of different ways that you could set up this platform to really suit your style of options trading, whether you're an intraday options trader or whether you're a long-term options trader. Either way, you're gonna need a lot of the same components. It's just really a matter of how you wanna actually set it up in your layout. But before we go and we customize our own layout, I just wanna remind you that Trader Workstation does offer a pre-made layout in the layout library. So if we go down to this button here and we hit the plus sign, we can go to the layout library here. So I'll click browse. And in here we have custom made layouts. Now what you'll see in the upper left-hand corner is an option trading layout. So if you wanted to just pick this one and start here, that's totally doable. You'll also notice there's a menu bar on the left-hand side. If you go down and click on options, it will bring up a page with some other option layouts. So if I drag this over for a moment, we can see that there's a right rollover options layout. We can see the standard options trading one that we were just looking at. And then down here we have an options liquidity layout. So like I said, you could just start with one of these, but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to build one from scratch and then you can customize it how you best see fit. So I'm gonna X out of this and I'm back to my blank layout. So the first thing that we're gonna need when we're trading options is the options chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to new window and I'm gonna go down where it says option tools down here. And you'll notice that option chain is right at the top. There's also option trader. I'm actually gonna bring them up side by side so that you can see both of them. Maybe you like one over the other. I like to have the trader portion separate from the options chain itself, but I'll show you that. So let's bring up the option chain. So here's just the standard options chain. Now, if I go back to the new window and I go to options trader, You'll notice that the options trader has the options chain just like the left-hand side does, but it also has the addition of the quote panel and a way to take trades right within here using the buttons. Now we'll go through the options chain and the options trader in another video, but for now, at least choosing one of these to have in your options trading platform is important. So I'm gonna stick with just the basic options chain for now and I'm gonna get out of the trader here. So now I have the options chain over here where I can see all the strike prices, the bid and the ask, and this can be adjusted and it is customizable like most things in Trader Workstation. Like I said, I'll do another video on the options chain, but for now, making sure that we have this here on our platform is important to be able to trade options. So once you get the options chain added in, we're gonna go up to new window and we are going to add the order entry tool. So here's where we can place an order. You'll notice that these are connected here. So they both have the green chain link here. If I click on one of these, it will change the order entry window to that specific call or put. Now I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm gonna add an orders tool so I can see what trades I've placed onto the market. So you could type orders up here in the search bar or you can go down here to order management and you can choose orders. So here is an orders window. And now I need something to monitor my option plays. So I'm gonna go back to new window and I'm gonna add my portfolio. Now there's two things here that I feel like this is missing. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more space to be able to add to it. Now, one thing that I wanna add is the performance profile tool of the option plays. So let's bring that up and we can talk through it for a moment. So I'm gonna go up to new window and I'm gonna go down to option analysis and I'm gonna go over to performance profile. Now this brings up the performance profile window. One thing about this window is that it does not lock to the layout. It is a floating window. So if you wanna make sure this stays forward when you're clicking on other parts of your layout and doesn't go behind this layout, you need to hit this thumbtack at the top. So this will pin it to the top and it will look like it's on this layout. So I'm gonna make some room for this over here. The reason why this performance profile is really important is because when you start to build a strategy in the options chain, this is going to allow you to be able to see what your risk reward would be on this, your max loss on it, your max return, how much you'd be investing into the position, how much time it would take to have this play out, where break even is sitting and all kinds of things. This is a really good analysis tool when you're putting on an option strategy. The next thing we wanna add on here is a chart. So we can actually see what's happening with the stock that we're trying to trade options on. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more room over here so that we can add a chart. 
Now I don't need to necessarily do anything super fancy in the chart. So if I want to, I could use a thumbnail here. I might have a different tab at the bottom that is just my charts where I actually draw all my trend lines and things like that. So here I can just use a thumbnail if I want to, to just be able to visually glance at what the stock is doing. So I'm gonna go up to new window and I'm gonna go down to chart and I'm gonna go over to thumbnail chart. This will of course bring up a thumbnail chart. And what you will notice is that this chart is linked to everything else. So all of these are linked by this green chain link here. So when I change one thing, it's going to change all of them. What that means is that anytime I click on a contract, it's going to change this chart to the call or put contract that I'm clicked on. So it's up to you whether or not you want to actually see the call or put contract chart. I personally like to see the equity chart. So if you want that to happen, you need to unlink this from the rest of these. So I'll go ahead and change this to a different color. We'll say it's red. Then I can come up here and I can just type Tesla, have a normal chart up here of the Tesla stock, and then Everything else here is linked as far as calls and puts go. Now you can come in here and customize these however you want. We previously did a video on order entries in general. So if you wanna understand how to change your order entry window or your activity window where your orders are sitting, check out that video. Same thing with your portfolio, same thing with the charts. We've done a full video on charting. So if you wanna check that out, definitely take a look at that. Now, without getting too far into the weeds on the options chain, because I said I will do a video on just the options chain itself. One thing I do wanna point out though, is if this is not visually appealing to you, as in if you've been with other platforms before, this tabbed view drop down right here may be the thing that you wanna change. So right now, tabbed view is just showing everything, all the contracts, it's all in sort of just this one drop down like this with the calls on one side, the puts on the other side, and all of the strikes on the way. But Trader Workstation also has a list view, which is similar to other platforms as well. So if you wanna check out the list view, go up to where it says tabbed view, switch to list view. So when I switch to this, I do get an error because on the tabbed view, I have it on unlimited strikes. The list view, unfortunately, that's too difficult for the list view to put out. So I'm gonna hit okay on this, get rid of that. And then I can go up to here where it says all strikes and change it to 10. Now this will switch to a list view. So if you like this look better, go ahead and switch to that. And like I said, we'll do a more in-depth view of the options chain in general. So that is a basic setup to get you started in the options world on Trader Workstation. We have the options chain on the left-hand side. We have the order entry window to place our orders. We have an activity window to view our orders. We have a chart to keep an eye on the stock. We have our portfolio to watch our positions. And we have a performance profile on the right-hand side so that we can analyze the strategy that we're putting on in the options world. If you have questions regarding your options layout, drop us a comment, but keep an eye out for more videos on the options side of Trader Workstation.